It looked a little bit intense. Quick up and down, pinching, twisting the skin, rolling, slapping. It felt like I was a tiny bit beaten up. The rigorous massage actually is the best way. Women are biohackers by nature. We're Lauren and Katie. We're taking a look at the wildest health hacks, wellness treatments, and the most cutting edge biotechnologies. We're taking you inside and unlocking the secrets only women could. This is Biohackers. Facial massage is over 3,000 years old and might be the oldest skincare hack in the book. It used to be used by the Chinese for radiant skin and vitality, and even Cleopatra allegedly enjoyed the treatment. Today we're visiting celebrity facialist Tu Yin Nguyen, who uses facial massage in his signature facial size treatment. But does it really work? Where did you learn the technique? I actually started out as a massage therapist. I found my aha moment volunteering as a massage therapist for the body for paralyzed patients. Because a paralyzed patient, because of atrophy, has to get a massage at least once or twice a week. I saw little stick legs turn back into a calf shape, and then a gray skin turn back flesh tone. Then I thought, aha, it's anti-aging. In massage, we're basically promoting blood movement. The blood is the fuel to your car. Mm. It takes out toxins and repairs the tissue. The more rigorous you are, your skin actually becomes stronger the more you train it. He's basically a physical trainer for your face. When I pioneered skin fitness and massaging the face, more clients were saying, oh, that seems too harsh. You know, you might do damage on my face. The rigorous massage actually is the best way. Okay, I'll let you go first. <laughs> With Lauren, I noticed right away much water retention around the uh, jaw and chin area. She also has an issue with TMJ. So I focus on relaxing her jaw as well as clearing out the bloatedness here. I first use my triple antioxidant face oil. He cleans your face and then he applies a ton of oil. Organic argan oil, shiso seed, and also grape seed oil. It smells so good. This is also the process which is called oil pulling. It cleans the skin without irritating the pore or taking out your natural oils. My skin feels um, like warm and tingly. Mm -hmm. I've had clients tell me, oh my God, are you using something that's reacting to my skin? Because my face is so hot. And it's because it's their blood. See how red she's getting? I'm warming up the entire face, the skin, the muscle, the tissue. So right now I started the lymphatic drainage, which is working all the tissue and the fluid down to the decolletage where most of the lymph nodes are found. He would do a downward stroke, which is just clearing the fluid and any of the crap that he loosened up through massage and pushing it through your system. The lymphatic system is really the forgotten system of Western medicine, basically your garbage disposer. Unlike the circulatory, it has no heart to pump. So it relies on daily movement, exercise, but also it can really be promoted through manual manipulation. Why if you're stagnant, your lymph system will actually bloat you. So I'm actually expanding the lymph system. How do we turn your hands into a device? <laughs> Tuyen has magic fingers. You had fluid retention underneath the jawline, so now it's more sculpted and you'll see a contour. The next thing you know, your face looks hydrated and glowing and dewy and amazing. Your turn. Yay! Katie definitely had hormonal stress bumps here on her neck, which is very common. I definitely have been breaking out a lot, especially since the pandemic, but he said he was going to address that through lymphatic drainage. This will heal it faster by rushing the blood. You do actually have underneath skin congestion here. Mm. It happens so often whenever women wear makeup. This facial is really about keeping the skin and the underneath layers actually detox. Then I go into the second part which is the passive exercise versus active exercise, which we know in the gym. Well, from what I'm seeing, you have great bone structures. And so I want to keep this cheek muscle more taut because then it will hold up your jowls. But passive exercise is when a professional actually manually manipulates and pumps the muscle. So it's just moving the muscles in your face in the same way that exercise moves the muscles in your body. Just like in Asian medicine, everything that goes wrong with the body or the skin is all about stagnation. Everything that is stagnant in the body will eventually turn into a problem, whether it's a blemish or organ failure. So my whole facial approach is really about rapid movement. I can definitely see what you mean about how many strokes you're getting in in an hour session. What did you say, 1,200 or the something like that? The average is 12,000. 12,000. 
His hands were so fast. It felt like a hummingbird's wings or something. Like there was rubbing, there was rolling. It almost felt like I was getting beaten up at certain points. I do a combination of paperu, which is the rolling of the skin for cellulite, a tapotment, which is bouncing of the skin and slapping it. That creates elasticity. Tuyen has a very interesting clientele. A lot of celebrities use him. So what do celebrities do if they're breaking out right before a shoot? The celebrities I work with, I'm part of their quote-unquote entourage. Mm -hmm. So they'll plan appointments with me building up to the shoot in order to keep the skin detoxed and uh, from congesting. Michelle Williams was doing the shoot for Vanity Fair. She was undercover and the art director said, we're gonna do a shoot with no makeup. I showed up at her house. We did this one hour facial, that's all the time she had. And with no makeup, she looked like she slept for three weeks. That's amazing. So after about 30 minutes of the massage, he cleansed my face to remove the oils. And with a cold sponge, and they're done. My skin did feel a little sore. Like it felt like I was almost like a tiny bit beaten up, but not in a very intense way. People don't realize that for centuries, especially in the East, we have been rigorously massaging the skin because we see the skin more as an organ. In America, we see the skin as a delicate system, that the more rigorous you are, your skin actually becomes stronger the more you train it. This is where I notice it the most, yeah. these lines. Yeah. It's because like an eraser. Keep... Right away I noticed that my face just looked much plumper, and I think it just had to do with the blood flow. You know, the muscles just looked firmer and more tone, and it just created like an overall more youthful appearance afterwards. What I noticed immediately is the plumpness of my skin. And right after, my skin still looks a little bit red because there's so much like blood flow coming to the surface. But then within an hour, just left with this like dewy, healthy skin. One of the cool things about facial massage is that, you know, you can do this in the comfort of your own home. There's all these like YouTube videos where you can like learn these different facial massage techniques and do them to yourself. An accessible hack that can help you achieve your anti-aging and skin goals almost immediately.